Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at following Christ and we're looking at the importance of prayer today. Let's just come before the Lord. It's good to see you. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for your grace and your love and care. And so, Lord, I pray that you bless the reading of your word, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. It says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 5, When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men. I tell you the truth. They have received the reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to the Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. When you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for, uh, for your Father knows that you need before you ask Him. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. So, prayer is really important. First of all, you know, when I became a Christian, I found it difficult to pray because I thought, am I just praying into empty space? Does God really understand? I didn't fully understand prayer. But as time goes on, it will develop in, in your life. And it will be one of the great joys of your life where you just want to do it all the time. So just stick with it, even though at the moment it might seem a bit difficult for you. Don't get discouraged. Um, this is what I do. When I pray, I say, Lord, I come before you. I ask for forgiveness. And, and then I come into his presence, then I worship God, I praise God, and then I begin to ask God for things for people and to help people. But here our Lord is teaching not to be showy off, not to show off, you know, not to tell people you're praying, not to, all the time, not, not to, to, to show that you're a great prayer, but to just do it in quiet and secret. Just do it in secret. I mean, you can be loud in secret, but don't let it, don't show off your spirituality. Just quietly find a place to pray. Okay. But this is our Father in heaven. Hallow be your name. When we come to pray, we're coming before a God who is our Father. He cares and He wants to hear our prayers. Hallow be your name. We're not coming before our body. We're we'll coming before Almighty God. So when we pray to the Father, He's Almighty. We never ever disrespect God. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we're praying, we need to pray what God's will is. Then we pray for our needs. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. We have to ask for forgiveness. And we have to ask for help and strength to overcome temptation and to forgive other people. So, those are a few pointers in prayer. Remember you're praying to God the Father. Remember to honour Him and His name. Um, remember to pray for his will remember to trust him and pray for your needs and other people's needs remember to ask for forgiveness from God and remember to forgive other people for if you forgive men when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you now I just want to say a little word to those young Christians you know, you probably don't think it, but you probably, some of you have got a lot of lack of love for your family, you know, bitterness for whatever reason. Maybe you were abused by one of your parents or one of the people in your family, whatever. Something really didn't go right for you in your family and you've born some kind of bitterness or grudge. And you've got to, you've got to deal with that and ask God to deal with it in your life and say, Lord, I forgive. Help me to forgive. And then when you're cleansed and forgiven, you can come into God's presence and you'll feel his love and presence. All right? So it's important to forget about whoever's hurt you in the past, whoever it is, to not be bitter. All right? it's, not, it's not good to be bitter. It's good to be in Christ. All right? So ask the Lord to, to cleanse you and to forgive you and you forgive other people. And that way you have a, 
you have a direct access into the presence of God through Christ. But prayer is something that takes practice. It takes time. So don't get discouraged. You might only be able to do it for a minute. That doesn't matter. I guarantee in, in within a year, two years, you, you'll be wanting to do it for, for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes. And prayer will be a, a great, great blessing to you. All right. Thank you for listening. But try and spend time every day praying to God and communicating to God. And any time through the day, God can be with you and help you.